The art of deception is as old as time itself and covers everything from counterintelligence to Halloween masks. But one incredibly convincing method of subterfuge that's rapidly becoming more common is the deepfake. But I'm not talking about some kind of cheap, obvious Photoshop job that involves cut pasting your head onto a weightlifter friend's vacation photos. So here's how it works. Programs that generate deepfakes use not one, but two different AIs working together. The first AI will scan many images of the subject to be faked and then create new faked images. The second AI will then examine these fakes and compare them to real images. And if the differences are too stark, the second AI will mark the image as an obvious fake and tell the first AI. So the first AI takes this information and continually adjusts the fake images until the second AI's error rate hits a certain target. That is to say, until the second AI can't tell a fake from the real thing anymore. This system is called a generative adversarial network, and although the idea behind it is fairly simple, advances in processing power have made it a very powerful tool for producing convincing looking fakes. It's much cheaper than hiring a real model and paying them for a photo shoot. But if you've seen stories about deep fakes in the news, you probably know that there's a much darker side to the technology. Of course, this doesn't mean that everyone out there will be fooled, but with how realistic deepfakes can be and how polarized the political climate is in many parts of the world, political deepfakes could easily convince enough people. And with accusations of political manipulation becoming more common these days, the rise of deepfake technology has led some observers to believe that it will have a tangible effect on political discourse and even election results. Although it remains to be seen if these fears actually come to pass, there are a number of cheaply accessible deepfake tools that allow people to create deepfakes without a ton of technical skill. So if you wanna tinker with them yourself, I'd say just go ahead, but stay away from the politics and stick to swapping Linus faces into your friend's wedding video. Are you concerned about a data breach causing your credit card info to fall into the wrong hands? Then check out today's sponsor, privacy.com slash techwiki for a free, easy to use service that hides your credit card number. There is no cost to you. And if you sign up today, you'll even get $5 for free. So check it out at privacy.com forward slash techwiki. That's privacy.com forward slash techwiki. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other videos, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. And that's not me being fakely manipulated to say that. I really think you should subscribe. Can you believe me, brother? Like for real.